Hey guys, this video is going to be about me showing you how to make your own wig cap. I kept looking all online trying to find a video to show me how to make my own wig cap and I could not find it. Uh, what my problem is, is when I do get the wig caps at the store, they're always so tight. They give me headaches and I get headaches really, really quick. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my own wig cap. So what I decided to do, you guys, is I actually already measured to my head. And what I want you to do, you guys, is put this what this is you guys is i'm going to be using some silk sheer hosiery it don't make no difference if they silk sheer what they are but they are you can use tights also uh what i like to always do y'all is always get it like the biggest size that they have like get um gh or ef i wish they had gh the bigger size is the better so you don't gotta worry about it being tight on your head i got this from um from uh, Ross for only $2.99. You probably can get it from Walmart from Mart for maybe cheaper. Um, again, what I did, you guys, is I put the actual stocking on my head. And um, when you see these marks, I just marked off where I'm going to be putting the hair. So don't you mind that. My main thing, you guys, is this um, wig cap. So what you do, y'all, is like I said, you'll put it on your head. Go ahead and take it out the packaging. And the reason why I don't want to move this is because I already have it to my standards and how I wanted to have my head. So I just put it on my head like so. Um, and then what you're going to do, y'all, is you're going to have, you know, you're going to have two legs. So what you do, y'all, is you tie the legs like I did already. Don't tie it too tight, y'all, but kind of tie it tight. Okay. So now what I'm going to do with those legs is I'm actually just about to, um, I tied it in a knot. You can also use a rubber band if you want to. It's all up to you and what you want to do. I am about to close this off. So I'm going to use my thread. And I'm going to go ahead and just close this off because you guys, you know, once I cut these legs, it's going to have a hole. So you don't want it to have a hole. And another thing you guys I'm going to do is the legs. If you want to, you also can cut the legs off. And you know how people be having elastic um, on the ears so you can be able to pull down a wig and it keeps it down. You actually can use one of the legs as that. Uh, so hopefully that made sense. Again, they do put elastic in the inside from ear to ear. So you can be able to have a band in the back and you can be able to use the legs to be able to do that. You also can use these legs for when you are, when you have a, um, an afro and you want your, um, you know, to have a cute afro. Uh, you know how you have your afros. This is very good to be able to use one of these legs. You can tie off your natural hair so good and you don't got to worry about having a headache because some of those things when you tie off your natural hair in the front like a band use it as a headband it's very uncomfortable but not these legs so all i'm doing y'all is i'm just kind of sewing um around the legs because i am going to cut the legs off so go ahead and sew around basically what you're doing is you're filling in that hole that you had um, and like I said, if you want to, you don't even got to do the legs like this. You also can just put in the um, rubber band and just uh, sew around the rubber band. That will work also, whichever way is easier for you. So you guys, all I'm doing right now, y'all, is just sewing off the, um, the actual hole. So once I cut these legs, I won't have a big old hole. So let me go ahead and get finished with that. You use a black thread. You got clear thread. That would be good too. Um, and when you do put the legs on, make sure you are using your front part um, for, for temple to temple. If you're wondering what this is, anytime I'm making a wig, y'all like to always have a wig cap on. A, um, a, I'm sorry, a swim cap, or I also have a bald head cap. I purchased this from Amazon. And what this is for is when I am doing the actual um, um, uh, crocheting or whatever I'm doing, I don't gotta worry about her hair getting stuck inside of the wig because one time that happened to me so be careful with that um you always want to make sure you put a, a swim cap on or something to cover up her hair so to make this video not too long let me go ahead and just all i'm doing again you guys is just braiding off where i'll be cutting because i don't want it to just undo so let me go ahead and get that thread off and i'll be right back okay you guys so let's go ahead and i thought i had some, so yeah let's go ahead and cut off the leg so i can show you what i'm talking about and like i said it's also easy if you want to uh, use a rubber band and cut around the rubber band all you're doing y'all is just so the hole from the legs can just be filled in uh, you won't have a bump if you um do the rubber band too but this bump you won't even see this bump at all and the thing that i actually like about having this bump is that um my i have locks so this kind of give it an extra um uh like i don't know it's just better like to me with the bump and it don't be so tight so again just go ahead and fill in that hole so you don't gotta worry about 
is coming undone, y'all. And this is how you make you, your own wig cap. And the good thing about this, like I said, you guys, it is nice. It's not tight. So if you are having problems with tight caps, y'all, try that method. Use you some tights, tie off the legs in the back, and then just sew that hole back in so you don't got to worry about... Um, the actual cap coming undone but like i said you guys if you want to do this extra fancy and you don't want to have no bump back there just um just hold it down and just sew it that's super easy super quick very cheap and i hope you guys um try it because like i said all of the wig caps that i tried y'all um it, it's just tight it's super tight i never knew i had such a big head and what another thing i'm going to do um is I'm also going to sew some lace on here so I can be able to have a nice part. So I'll be sewing some lace right there. And you can be able to see really good videos. I'll show you how to sew some lace, but I just wanted to show you how to make your own wig cap. So ladies, make your own wig cap for $3. Sew so you some lace on. And the good thing about this cap is you can do crochet. So let me show you. It can actually go through a crochet. Uh, your hook, your crochet hook can go through. Let me just start right there. I'm going to give you a quick, um, this is some hair that I'm using y'all. This is some new hair that I freaking love. It is a super line. Hold on, let me show you guys what it is. It is called Goddess Box Braids by Superline. Y'all, when I say this hair is the freaking bomb, it is the bomb. And I'm going to be making a wig out of it. This is the hair right here. It's basically braided and twirled and then curled at the end, which is so cute. But again, guys, please let me know how you like that wig cap because I know you will like it. Super easy. You can glue on it. You can sew on it. You can crochet on it. Everything. Just showed you how. Super cheap. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.